Second by David Baldacci was the first book I read for the Booktube Readathon. I picked up this book because it is the basis for one of my new favorite TV shows, King and Maxwell. I really wanted to know if the books were as funny as the show, and while it does contain a lot more serious moments, it did still contain a sense of fun. The narrative always sounded a bit snarky, which amused me to no end, and of course King always seemed to have some smart comeback of one kind or another. This is the first book in the series, and it actually explains how King and Maxwell meet before they start their PI firms, which is very interesting for someone who's been watching the show. I suspect that in coming books, some of the seriousness will loosen up now that they've partnered together. I really enjoyed this story. It's an extremely convoluted mystery, and while it's not exactly fair play, the suspense is immensely entertaining. I was surprised by the writing in this book because apparently I was expecting something just above par. But the writing quality is good, and I was impressed with the imagery and the constant thrill of suspense. I think I was expecting the quality to be very simple, but I am relieved that the word choice was a little more complex and thought through. Now for the downsides. There is some sexuality in this book. There's one scene in the beginning and several mentions throughout, but the story and characters were intriguing enough that I kept on reading. Now, if there had been much more of this, I probably, even if reluctantly, would have put it down. Also, there is some swearing. Quite a bit in some areas, but it's not every other word. The S word is used occasionally, but the F word was never used which is like extra bonus points for Mr. Baldacci. For those of you who watch the show King and Maxwell, I will caution you that this first book deals with an unfolding subplot currently being used in the series. Now, they're just different enough that I don't know how exactly they're going to handle it in the show and whether or not it will be the same, but it's entirely possible that it will be exactly like it is in the book. So just beware. Split Second by David Baldacci gets three and a half stars and marks one of the only non-classic adult books I have ever been able to finish.